This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutra.com, Whole Family Nutrition. Welcome to the Healthy and Family Show. Each episode features interviews with doctors, experts, and real moms revealing their secrets on how to keep you and your whole family holistically healthy. Your host is David A. Stone, award-winning movie producer, Amazon best-selling author, certified Moringa grower, and founder of CompleteNutra.com, Whole Family Nutrition, which is committed to providing the highest quality, science-backed, non-GMO, all-natural nutritional supplements to keep your whole family healthy. Here's David. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is David A. Stone, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for episode four of the Healthy and Family Show. It's already been a great ride. We've been learning as we're going here. Um, the quality of these things are getting a little bit better every single time. Today, I tried to do the interview using Zoom, so we're actually going to get a little bit better of a picture today on the other side of the camera. But the most important thing in all of these interviews is what Dr. Jesse says, because today I'm interviewing Dr. Jesse Keener again, and she's been a naturopath physician for over 30 years. So she has some incredible knowledge. And today we're going to be talking about glyphosate and GMOs and how, what they do to our bodies, how they affect our bodies when we eat them and how basically our food's been weaponized against us when we look at how prevalent this is in everything. And we're also gonna look at the connection between how glyphosate actually works in the soil. To it's the, the product called Roundup when you spray it on plants. What is it doing to the soil and how does it kill those weeds? The similar effects that it has on the soil are the effects that glyphosate has on our own bodies. So you're gonna learn the science behind that today. So I hope you're very excited to join me today. But this GMO discussion is one of the reasons that I started CompleteNutra.com. CompleteNutra.com is non-GMO products. Every single one of these products up on top here, non-GMO. And we very much make sure that we commit to that because I don't want to be taking any GMO products. I take a lot of my products. I don't want my family. I don't want my friends. I don't want anybody taking GMOs. And you're going to see why in this episode. So I'm really excited that you guys are here. And before we jump in, I want to quickly talk to you about complete turmeric because complete turmeric this is actually our most popular product and and there's a reason this is our most popular product if you guys know a little bit about turmeric turmeric is an incredible herb it's a powerhouse it has so many antioxidants in here but one of the big things that turmeric actually does is it increases our body's ability to use antioxidants so it enhances our body's ability to use the antioxidants that we give it not only that, it has a lot of antioxidants in it. Now this is complete turmeric. And there's a reason this is called complete turmeric because turmeric in its raw form is amazing, but our bodies can only absorb so much of it in its raw form. So the reason this is called complete turmeric and not just turmeric is because of the additional ingredients that we have in it. This is a powerhouse formula because inside turmeric, is the anti-inflammatory compounds called curcuminoids. And so what we do with complete turmeric is we take the raw powder, the raw turmeric powder, but we also extract 95% curcuminoids, which you gotta check the higher percentages, the better. So we have a 95% extraction of curcuminoids and that's what we add into this. It gives it a really powerful punch against free radicals. So why do antioxidants matter? Because antioxidants fight free radicals and free radicals are the things that attack all of our cells. Free radicals are the things linked to can cancer. So if you can attack the free radicals with the antioxidants, which are in turmeric, then there's many, many benefits. And you can just go to pubmed.com if you want to search for turmeric plus curcuminoids because the curcuminoids are the extract out of the turmeric. So you kind of want both of them combined, but that's not it. This is complete because we have three ingredients. The third ingredient in complete turmeric is called bioperin. Bioperin is an extract that comes out of black pepper. And what it does is it actually acts as a vehicle to allow the turmeric and the curcuminoids to get absorbed by our body. In fact, with bioperin, the curcuminoids are absorbed by your body 
2,000% more than if you don't use bioperin, which means you have to take less turmeric to get the same benefits. So that's what complete turmeric is all about. The three ingredients are turmeric, curcuminoids, 95% curcuminoids, and the third and really powerful ingredient is called bioperin, and that helps everything get absorbed by your body fully. So this is why it's complete turmeric. Don't forget, if you wanna support our guest, go to completenutra.com and load up your cart, and then at checkout, put Dr. Keener 20 and you get 20% off your entire order. So if you want a whole bunch of these, you can actually get some pretty good deals by buying multiple bottles of things, and then you still get 20% off of that on top of it with uh, the coupon code Dr. Keener 20 So, and you also are able to support our guest on the show today. So without further ado, I wanna get into the show today and talk about GMOs. I want you to understand why it's important for us to be vigilant. And Je Dr. Jesse is going to be starting off the conversation with why she became a naturopath doctor and the whole story there, because it's really interesting. And I guarantee you, a lot of you will probably identify with it a lot. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you, Dr. Jesse Keener. Hey, Jesse, thank you so much for being on the show again. I'm, I'm really loving these conversations we're having. Yeah, me too, David. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really interested. We had a conversation in the last video. I had to actually cut out a few parts because it was it was choppy and stuff like that. I hope this is a little bit better quality for everybody. But I want to ask you a little bit about you have a you had a brush with cancer and you you have you have some backstory with some some things and, and the reason you became a doctor. And I, I just wanted to kind of ask you uh, to talk a little bit about that. Sure, sure. Because I think it, I think it is a real big motivator when you've had health and then you lose your health completely, which is what happened to me. Uh, you know, you definitely know the before and the after. And what happened was I was grew up healthy. I was very athletic on a swim team, super athletic in high school. Went to a college. Was on a college team. You know, really into feeling great and having awesome performances. And then all of a sudden, it was just like all these things started going wrong. And I started developing insomnia and neck pain and back pain and debilitating pains. And then after a couple of years of that, I realized, well, my menstrual cycle has pretty much quit. I was depressed all the time, still couldn't sleep, started having fainting spells. And it was just like my body was unraveling. And none of my doctors really knew what to tell me. I mean, they really didn't know what to do. And was this during college better. or like after this was college? during college and right after college. So mm -hmm. by the time I was out of college, I was fainting randomly. I would have no oh idea gosh. it was coming and only have a few seconds before, you know, between the first symptom and then actually being on the floor and people oh bending over saying, you know, young lady, are you okay? So, and none of my doctors had any, any answers, which meant to me that I needed to take more responsibility. I figured if they don't have the answers, I need to do more research. Now, this is going to date things horribly, but it was before the internet, Dave. So I had to do, <laughs> go to the library and I would come back out of that and think, my thyroid's low. I can tell from the symptoms and I'd go back. So this went on and on. And the doctors would be like, no, your blood test's perfect for your thyroid. No, that's not it. So it got worse. And then finally, I started to receive chiropractic care. In fact, I was working for a chiropractor and he was happy to do my x-rays and look at everything. And I was a wreck. I had a reverse curve in my neck. I had scoliosis that I was born with, but I'd also had an injury where my horse went down with me when I was 16 and that, that postural and structural stuff never was fixed. So now I had arthritis in my entire spine. That explained a lot about my pain syndrome. And you know, my doctor's recommendation was just that I stay on the pain medication, stay on the muscle relaxants. Well, those gave me other side effects, effects and basically shut down my digestive system. So obviously those were not answers. The final straw, and this is what you mentioned, the brush with cancer, was my pap smear started showing up in the precancerous stage. Ooh. And so I said to my gynecologist, okay, what's the plan? How are we going to back me out of this? Mm -hmm. And he just looked at me and he said, well, no, actually, we're going to do something called watchful waiting. <laughs> and I said nothing because I was just kind of like my, you know, inside my brain, I'm like, 
okay, this is important. I'm saying, okay, so what, how do I do that? He goes, no, no, no. We watch, we retest over time and we wait for the cancer to show up. And I said, okay, so there's nothing we can do here to, to make the fact that I'm precancerous go away. And he's like, no, we just have to watch and wait. Wow. So I left that conversation, you know, really angry because I came from a, a family where being smart, having intelligence, having common sense, pushing the envelope, being logical, all of that was highly valued. My dad was a college professor. So I was just furious. I couldn't believe that this was my, my circumstance, that I was just going to be left here. So I started taking more books out of the library on things like vitamins and herbs. And I remember reading some really amazing books early on about herbal remedies. So I started to experiment. There was a little co-op and I moved to Austin, Texas after college because it was very warm, if not really hot there all the time. And I couldn't stay warm. Yes, it did turn out to be that I did have a thyroid problem and that was why I couldn't stay warm. So the chiropractor actually said that I should find a clinical nutritionist. He said, I, I can only help you a little bit. But he did mm. recommend some supplements. And Dave, some of those supplements did really help me. So I'm, I'm getting this herbal, natural remedy thing from some different you know, directions. And I'm liking what I'm finding out. Mm -hmm. And then sure enough, I found a clinical nutritionist. And she was actually looking for someone to run her office. I applied for her awesome. office management position, got the job. It was awesome. She said, you know, I'm not going to give you paid vacation. This is how it's going to work, but I will take your case. <laughs> and she said, I will take your case. And I was trying not to be like a poker. I wanted to like act calm, but I was thinking, this like, is like a miracle. Like, yes. This, this is like, <laughs> I had like the goose bumps and the whole thing. You know, I'm like, this is like a God thing. So then later I got really paranoid. I thought she's going to be so sorry she hired me when she actually finds out how much medical history I have. But she was up for it. Her name is Dr. Teresa Dale, by the way. And Teresa now is the dean of the California College of Natural Medicine. So she's gone all the way to the top of the, of the um, educational field to get the word out better and more. Awesome. So she was able to do a lot of testing on me. And she was able to create programs, protocols, if you will, based on her knowledge and her training using natural herbs and supplements, vitamins and minerals, homeopathic formulas. Um, and it was very fascinating because I didn't understand the word toxic. I'd never really even heard that. But she said, you're very, very toxic. Your mm -hmm. entire digestive system is pretty much shut down. Your pituitary gland up in your brain is pretty much shut down. But there are ways of re-engaging these. There are ingredients that will tonify them. There's ways we can build them back up. And I was mm -hmm. like, wow, who knew? So the, I was, I, it was almost like there was a second Jesse that the whole time I was going through my personal office visit with her when she was going through the report of findings, I was also like sitting here going, this is amazing. I didn't know this world existed. And I realized right then, right there, that there really are two worlds. There's mm. the clinical, clinical nutrition, hardcore herbal medicine, hardcore vibrational medicine, homeopathic world all quantifiable, all provable in quantum physics. And then, then we have the sort of the AMA world. So uh, I, I was kind of in a shock state through that session, but I, I went away from that realizing, wow, this is truly a miracle in my life. And it's going to be unique for me because not everyone's going to even know what I'm talking about. So for the first few years, I just focused on me and getting well. But I was working in her clinic and I was helping other people and kind of reinf reinforcing sometimes what she would say and all that kind of stuff. And I realized I have a calling for this. I really yeah. love this. I was getting well. I was getting stronger and stronger. We reversed the arthritis. She said, you're in a, wow. my, my doctor, my, my gynecologist, the same one that said we do the watchful waiting had also told me about 18 months before that, he said, well, you know, your formal diagnosis is menopause because you haven't had a cycle in so long. And I'm like, menopause, but I'm only 23. And they said, yes, but you have the biology of like a 63 year old. So Dr. Dale said to me, well, we're going to reverse that. And I couldn't believe okay. it. It was like, you know, again, I, it, wow. So yeah, these um, are paradigm shifts. It's actually like, major. you're right. It's, it's clinical nutrition versus watchful waiting in pharmaceuticals and yes, clinical and nutrition is, is the, it's the building up of your body, giving your body 
figuring out what you need and giving your body the building blocks. And then the other side exactly. is more like the band-aids. Like, here, let's just yes. put this on. Treating the symptoms, not mm -hmm. the cause. Right. That's, that's the issue right there. So it was a whirlwind. Two and a half years later, everything that she said that we were going to reverse was reversed. <laughs> so literally, I went on to fall in love, get married. My daughter is now 30, about to turn 34 years old. Uh, I was told I would never have children and I needed to learn wow. how to live with that. So I had a burning desire and that was to be a mom. So I had, mm. I had reason to follow the at times challenging programs that Dr. Dale put me on. Mm. I had to give up a lot of my favorite foods, Dave. I had to change what I was doing and how I was doing it. Even simple things like I used to race through my meals and, and literally bolt my food, barely chewing. I was flanked by brothers. So anyone that has brothers know <laughs> they're going to eat fast and they're going to beat you to the second. So I learned to keep up and sometimes beat them. Well, Teresa Dale explained to me that if you don't chew thoroughly, you don't actually tell your pancreas down in your belly what's happening up in the mouth and the pancreas actually will not know which enzymes to manufacture. And I looked at her, I said, I thought that was all kind of automatic. She goes, it's automatic based on your chewing, wow. not automatic based on you swallowed it. And I was like, wow, this is whoever talked about this. Nobody. Yeah, nobody. I mean, yes, my mom said, don't talk with your mouth full. CompleteNutra.com, whole family nutrition. Hi, Dr. Jesse Keener here. And we're going to talk about complete turmeric today because this is a superstar when it comes to one of the worst problems we're all dealing with with our health, which is inflammation. Science has now said that inflammation precedes every known disease. So this is really a beginning way of treating the problem before it even starts. So whether you have cancer genes in your family, or whether you've just had a history of not eating well, or whether you're a teenager that definitely doesn't eat well, you need the complete turmeric because it works with the body, reducing inflammation. There's been massive amounts of studies on this. Some of the studies even show that this coupled with our essential six, the vitamin D3 and K2, really work better than a lot of anti-inflammatories on the market, and those all have side effects. So complete turmeric, this is for mom, this is for dad, this is for teenagers and definitely college kids who are burning the candle at both ends. One a day unless you're described, uh, directed more by your physician or your naturopathic physician, but this is in my cabinet. It's a daily habit because we just can't get enough of the ingredients of turmeric in our everyday diet. The other genius behind this formula is it contains something called bioperine, which is a black pepper extract. Bioperine, when you put it with other ingredients, it, it kind of expands the capacity of those ingredients. We call it a synergistic effect where it makes the original product work even better because of the bioperine. So you know you're not only getting the best turmeric in your body, you're also getting that synergistic expansion effect with the bioperine. So mom, dad, you can take this after breakfast every day, teenagers after breakfast, after dinner, college kids every day, no matter what, after a meal, complete turmeric. CompleteNutra.com, whole family nutrition. But the reality was I was able to change my genetic patterning that set me up for so much of what I was struggling with. And that's yeah. a distinction that most people really would benefit from accepting that your genes are just a suggestion of what, awesome. you know, what, God, what God gave you. Is, it's just a suggestion. It's a blueprint. Right. Anyone that knows basic architecture knows the blueprint is not the finished building. Yeah. You build your house, right? You know, so don't confuse the blueprint with the solid structure of that building. Do not confuse your genes with the solid structure of who, you know, what you've got here because it's really, really malleable. And that's what you weren't taught growing up. That's yeah. what they're not teaching us in high school in biology. I mean, and don't expect it to happen tomorrow. Like give it a year no. of dedicating time to yourself. You have to give it the time. You have yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, for it's, sure. it, it, for sure. it's totally we, worth it. Yes, absolutely. I'm doing yeah. it this year. So I just did another th another practice that I just started because I'm not necessarily I'm not doing yoga or anything, but I I've been working out, but I'm inflexible, and so I I put myself a desk on the floor. So I have a floor desk and a top desk. So nice. I don't have a chair in here, so I can either stand up and work, or I can sit on the floor cross legged nice. and work. And I've been doing that this whole month, and now I can actually sit cross-legged again without my knees all doing all weird stuff. But I can't yeah. quite put it up. I, I can't 
when I was a kid, I used to be able to put my head, my foot behind my head. And like, I I literally can barely touch my toes right now. And so (laughs) I'm, I, I, a lot of the things we used to do as children sitting on the floor, we've forgotten about. And I think anyways, I'm only bringing that up because that's been a practice that I started at the beginning of this month. Just like the practice of walking 10,000 steps a day started at the beginning of this year and the practice of intermittent fasting. But you don't have to do everything at once. It's just like pick one thing and start it for like 30 days. Like sit on the floor for 30 days while you're working on your computer. It's totally crazy. And my legs are getting all locked up. Like after I sit there for like 20 minutes, I have to like lift my leg off and like stretch it out. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm going to make sure my legs can do this again at some point. But maybe yeah. it'll take me the whole rest of the year. It's the long game we're playing because life is yes. the long game. Just be respectful right. to our bodies. Figure out what your body once and then what you want and just kind of just expect it to be daily uh for a year yeah yeah every action will matter and that's that's really the beautiful thing about this so maybe you can't afford to eat organic all the time but you can afford to slow down at mealtime you Mm, can afford to chew your food thoroughly and put your fork down in between bites and just contemplate how yummy and delicious this is you know you mm-hmm. can stop drinking a lot of beverages with your meals so that your body can focus those enzymes on getting that stuff broken down you can start walking more than you walked yes. before i mean it's just like little baby things excellent excellent and yes. and i believe that we we our birthright isn't what they told us. So again, a big giant con, a big giant lie is that you should get stiff in your 40s because the other people around you are getting stiff in right? their 40s. And they can't <laughs> t- touch their toes. And you should like, get hunched happens. over in your I'm 60s. I'm getting old. <laughs> you, know? oh. you should be senile by your 70s. These are the normal things. That, mm. And that's, no, we were lied to. Yeah. No, that's yeah. just what, that's what they want us to believe so that we're not supremely powerful, so we're not full of vital energy. And so we probably, you know, if we did all that and didn't, you know, peter out so soon, we'd probably change some things radically about how life is on the planet. Our bodies are designed to regenerate and heal, but not when we keep giving them poison. That's the ad absurdum part that we're throwing into the mix here is like, hey, eat this food that has poison in it and can't reproduce from seed and it'll make you healthy. <laughs> it's like, and it'll make it. you healthy and do that while you don't walk and move your body and work much. harder. And so that's the, that's the perfect. <laughs> and don't right. sleep Get in front because... of the blue screen. <laughs> don't sleep. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because you're still, you're still drinking the coffee and you're the coffee generation. So it doesn't, it doesn't take much to yeah. look at the stats of Americans health and go, well, and then when it start, we start getting sense. out of whack. If we're a normal person, we'll go to the doctor with our insurance. They'll book, here's a, here's eight, here's Adderall or here's, here's a, a, yep. di- a different stimulant when, and those I think are way over prescribed too. But see, once you start getting addicted to that, then you need more and more and more and more and more. And man, if you ever get off Adderall, you're probably going to be sleeping for like a solid month if you've been on it for years. It's yeah, like for who, sure. who has a whole month to take off? Well, right now, <laughs> maybe people do. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Go to rehab yeah, or something thing. at your house. No, I'm just joking. But. So it's, I, I think we're going to see. I, I, I would be willing to predict that a year from now, you and I are going to be stunned by how much attention your educational series has received and how many lives are starting to change. Mm. Just from simple, basic, logical happy. instruction. <laughs> yes, because this is the stuff that mom didn't know, so she yeah. couldn't teach us. But it, right. you, I know your mom, and I know my mom, and if they had learned it, they would have taught it for totally, sure. Totally, totally. But now we know. I mean, yeah. how many times did mom sit down and say, now fill up that glass with milk before you sit down at the table, you know, or make sure you've got your full glass of orange juice at breakfast. So we were just indoctrinated into thinking this is how it is. It's but when you really start, study it, it's we got to question everything. That, that clinical nutrition is medicine correct yeah because that's actually the the part of science that gets it done that's where that's where literally livers get regenerated and pancreases get stabilized and blood but here's the thing too that it's not it's not like we can just that's where everybody sometimes people are looking for the easy quick hey doc just give me a pill i'll take it 
whatever. It's like clinical nutrition is, is holistic. It, you know, we have to address yes. all the different areas of our life and our emotions and our mind. And it, it, it really is a, it, it involves a little bit of effort and energy and you're right. We need, people need to, their hearts need to be open. Their ears need to be ready to hear yes. and they need to be ready for change. But I know there are a lot of people out there right now who are ready to change. And if you're ready to change, yes. look, there's some very simple, you just gave tons of awesome, simple takeaways. Let's see, we got, just make sure you're in a great state of mind when you're eating, chew your food, try to chew, you know, 30 or whatever times per, but just chew consciously. Um, don't eat poison. <laughs> so be conscious don't of your poison, right? of what you are eating, you know, whether it's grains or whatever. And don't eat liquids with the meal. Medicine, don't drink liquids with the meal. Those right. are excellent. Right. Yeah. Those are excellent. Yeah. And it's really true that as the digestion, as you go just through those basic things and the digestion starts to improve and the liver function starts to upgrade. And that's when people start to go, Hmm, I'm less moody. I'm less irritable, mm -hmm. maybe even a little less forgetful. And that's really exciting stuff. Yeah. You know, very, very early on those changes will start to take place. And mm -hmm. then, then you have more resources, you have more brain power Definitely. to go to work with, with working on anything, whether you're planting a garden or figuring out your next meal. It doesn't really matter if you've got more energy, more brain power, because your organs are functioning well, you're, you're going to fulfill yourself. And you know why I hear some of these doctors saying, which is, sounds cool to me, like they're like 40 is the new 20 because 160 is the new 100. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, <laughs> that sounds <Perfect>. interesting. <laughs> Let's yes. figure that out. I, but, I'll sign up for that. Well, thank you so much. I think this episode is a really exciting one. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Dave. Anytime. Thank you for joining us for the Healthy and Family Show. Visit our website at healthyandfamily.com. That's healthyandfamily.com to see what all the other doctors, experts, and real moms have to say about keeping your whole family healthy. This episode has been brought to you by CompleteNutro.com, Whole Family Nutrition, and aired on the Goldstone Network. People, planet, future. <laughs>